Hello, it's Jimmy here at Whitey's. I have here another Honda CRV, I think it is, or HRV. Yeah, they all look the same to me, but yeah, it's a CRV. Okay, inside the car, let's get the ignition on. We've got a symbol there for DPF. Let's have a look at what we're looking at. We have engine management light on, flat tire sign, we're not going to be concerned about that. Engine management, we should get. I think the DPF light comes on there. There we go. I'm not sure if that's it. Sorry, this is just just literally getting into the car now. I haven't looked at it yet or anything. Yeah, so it looks like that's it. Okay, I've got the diagnostic machine ready. Launch Euro Tab 3, this one is. We'll do a scan. Okay, so we just need to pick a few different items. This one is Europe. Uh, it's a 2016 diesel, of course. We'll do a high speed scan. Just going to scan the complete car. Okay, so we're finished on the scan. We have airflow sensor signal lower than expected, particulate filter ash accumulation, particle filter, filter particle matter accumulation. Intake air temperature sensor incorrect voltage correlation. Uh, incorrect voltage. Well, it could have the incorrect voltage if it's not receiving rough air, or it could be a faulty sensor, I suppose. Particle matter accumulation quantity excess. Well, basically, it's excessive soot. Okay, so uh, let's go and look at some live data. Okay. Uh, data stream Let's see what we can look for here air hmm that's not helpful let's see what else we can find what's going on can't find a airflow meter okay there we found a just different word and for it math we got it under math oh wow oh, press back let me do that again Okay, we'll select all of those. Now we're just going to start the engine up. See what it is we're looking at. Seven grams per second on the airflow meter. I'm pretty sure that's low. Um, yeah, it is. So the voltage is at 1.5. Don't know why it's not pressing. I'm trying to highlight it for you. Right, I think we might have to do maybe a smoke test. Okay, so just got the bonnet open now. We've got the smoke uh, machine here. Now, like I say in all my videos, I don't think there's a day that goes by that I don't use this. So, and I know 90% of mechanics don't have one. Um, it's just a really necessary tool that you need these days. Okay, so just gonna about to connect this into the airline here so I can notice something already so it looks like I might not even have to use it yeah this is it's disintegrated see there it's all coming apart right so we well we won't need to use the machine because it's quite visible what's going on there so, for people that don't understand, your airflow comes through your air filter in the engine here. So not only is it going to be sucking in unfiltered air dust into the engine, it's pulling in air that is not um, read by the air filter, um, air sensor, airflow sensor over here. So everything's going to be out. The fuel ratio is going to be out and you're going to be having unmetered air coming in and that's why we're getting a fault saying that the amount of air that's getting sucked past here isn't matching what, what's getting put into the engine. Okay, so the problem we've got here is that this part is only going to be available from Honda. So we're going to have to do some sort of bodge for the time being until we can get a hold of one. So you know what that means? I don't do bodges, so we're going to have to change my character. Um, get this one out. 
we'll get this uh, sorted. Okay, so I've removed the uh, flexible pipe, hose, whatever you want to call it. You can see there where it's split. Now, I am, like I said, I'm going to order a new one of these up, but just for the time being, so we can get the car driving out of its uh, reduced power mode. We're just going to do a little bit of a temporary repair with this, using some tape. It's not a high pressure pipe, so it's just an air inlet pipe, so some tape will hold it for the time being. Okay, so I've just removed the dust, so, well as much as I can, with some brake cleaner. Okay, so we've got a nice tight seal on that, some strong tape on it. Now, it is a bodge, like I said, it's just gone on there until we can get hold of the replacement part. Now, just so we're clear, Jimmy at O'Reilly's didn't do the bodge, we don't do bodges. That was me, Seamus, from Botton and Lake Garage. Okay, it's me, Jimmy, again, I'm back, and we're gonna look at some live data again. So now we're looking at the DPF itself. We have a calculated particle matter value of 69.9 grams, which is extremely high. For these as well, 20 millibars of pressure, it's quite high. Um, should only see sort of one or two, two millibars of pressure on these, six maximum. Right, so just to uh, make it clear, I know I don't always explain stuff properly on my videos and I just assume people know what's going on here, but if you, this is one of your first times watching one of my videos, um, I'll explain what's happened. So the air leak has caused the air and fuel ratio to go off. That's gonna cause a, a rich burn in the cylinders. It's gonna create a lot of unburnt fuel and black soot basically if you haven't got a car with a dpf what this would cause is you'd as you accelerate you'd see black soot coming out of the exhaust this car has a dpf so you're not going to see the black soot but it's going to be building up within this in the dpf and that's what's happened here this is why we have a high pressure in the dpf and high particle matter value so by sealing up the airflow it's going to correct that and now we clean down the dpf and that should sort out the issue Okay, so I've come in here to the DPF pressure sensor. We removed this hose. This is the hose that goes before the DPF and this is the one that goes after. We've connected up the cleaning gun here to that. And again, this is the fluid that we're using from Launch UK. That's connected to the compressor at 130 PSI. Now we can just squeeze it and get that in there. I'm gonna do this one with the engine running because the DPF sits quite high in front of the engine. So it's easier for me to get this down here and just record it from here. So basically we're just getting all of this fluid in there, just holding the trigger down until the complete litre of that is emptied in. Okay, so we've put all our fluid in there. I'm just gonna give it a, a minute now, soak its way in. You can see some of it has already started coming out of the exhaust there. We'll get inside, give it a few revs. So now we're just keeping an eye on this live data again for the DPF. Just trying to see where the revs are. Bring it down a little bit, sort of hold it at 3000 RPM. have 40 millibars there. Let's let that idle, see where we are. Four. So that's clean already. Okay, now that the cleaning side of it is done, we're gonna go in and do the diagnostic side here. So this is reset the particle matter value. And then we're going to reset the fault codes. And then we can read them, see if they're all cleared. Right. So now if we start the vehicle up, we should have all of those symbols gone apart from the tire higher pressure one. So if we give that a minute now we should see no more of the engine related faults or DPF related faults flagging up. 
There you go. Thank now you just, just let it idle until that steam dies away. That will be basically it. We're all just about finished on this. I'll see you in the next video.